Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B-Movie review. Today I'm going to be looking at Dark Prince, The Legends of Dracula. Now, this is quite an interesting film. At first glance you can think this is a standard vampire film. It isn't. This is a historical film based on the life and times of Vlad Tapesh, or Vlad the Impaler, who basically inspired Bram Stoker to write Dracula. So, in, in historical terms, this is the actual person that the, 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 the vampire, or the main vampire myths are based on. Um, essentially, he was a Romanian um, prince who, who ruled a portion of, of uh, Romania called Wallachia, um, so in, in medieval times, I, I couldn't tell you exactly when it's meant to be, um, but he was he was renowned for being absolutely cruel um, and ruthless and sadistic. But because he was like that, he was he, the, the sort of the country that he was run, was essentially running really stood up to the larger surrounding com countries that were at war with each other and and you know and held its own. Um, now he was res he was both feared but respected by his fellow countrymen and it's a, it's a very interesting uh take now i'm surprised to be honest with you that that there's n there's not been other films based on this because it's, it's it's an interesting story i mean maybe be because the um obviously the main character is essentially such a bastard it's difficult to really sort of sympathize with them some you know but it's, it's an interest a very very interesting story especially if you're interested in just general um vampire you know myths and stuff this is potentially give you an idea of what you know what bram stoker was thinking um when he was reading the historical facts of of what actually happened um obviously you know it's not going to be completely true there are there are going to be some embellishments with it but it's it's very worth very worth watching for us sort of a bit of an eye opener to you know what essentially bram stoker was thinking the other interesting thing is the actual guy who um, plays Vlad is a guy called Rudolf Martin who also actually played Dracula as a vampire in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And what's more, he actually looks the same. So in, in, in both this film and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, he kind of had like the long um, sort of straight hair. So realistically, although they're completely unrelated, you can actually watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is the, I think it's the first episode of season five it's actually a, a sequel to that because this this ends with um spoiler warning this ends with his death and obviously you know what happens when you know he rises so um so that's an interesting little spin on it now i, I really enjoyed it now it is a lower budget film so you're not going to get massive battle sequences like you do in like Braveheart and Gladiator with you know thousands upon thousands of extras it doesn't have the money for that um so there's not only big battles there there's a few skirmishes in it um that are meant to be representative of uh big battles but you'll, you'll never sort of see anything like that and really the, because of that the choreography as well is as it's kind of a made for tv sort of vibe to it i don't know if it was actually made for tv but it sort of has that look on it. Um, the supporting cast, I actually think Rudolf Martin did a pretty good job. Um, you've also got sort of Jane Marsh as his love interest. Um, I didn't think the, the supporting cast was all, all that great, if I'm honest. Um, but I thought Rudolf Martin did a, did a decent enough job as, as uh, Vlad Travis. Maybe um, a little bit of, too much of a pretty boy. I, I don't think he was really that meant to be as pretty as he as he sort of made out to be here you know but you know he can't help that can he i suppose the actor um and that's one of the things that obviously they they have embellished if you ever seen some of the drawings of of vlad the vlad the impaler none of this um but purely for historical interest that it's certainly worth watching um i enjoyed it again i'll base the film on, on the production values that it had i think it did you know a, a good enough job to hold your interest and make you make you get interested in it so i'll give this one a seven out of ten worth watching